Okay, so today we're going to check out this app called uh, Piano Maestro by Joytune. So they have a few apps uh, to help people learn to play piano and also help teachers to teach their students. So let's take a look at this app together, right? Let's get started. And uh, so here it asks, how will you be using the Piano Maestro? So I'm a teacher. I'm going to be using it with my student. And then how many students do you have? More than 10. And what skill do you wish to work on with your students? I'm going to take everything. Sight reading, rhythm, two hand coordination, fingering. Now what motivates your student? Um, I think having fun is important. And they actually like to play some hit songs like video games or movie songs. Um, so that's the first two. Uh, what are you most interested to explore in Piano Maestro? So for me, um, I like them to work on a specific skill because I like to see if this app can help students with their reading and possibly some pop songs. So now we're going to create an account. using my uh, school account so feel free to send me question about music <laughs> consultation teaching questions all right now I'm gonna make a password I'm gonna cover this so you don't see it got it now oh, we need a we have to put a phone number. Uh, it's required. All right. So I'm gonna put in my phone number. Again. See if I can continue right now. Oh, so I have to put somebody's student, put the student's email address. All right. I'm gonna put my own address, my another address, so they wouldn't know. So I just put my other emails because I don't want to put my student in there yet. Do you wish to send an invitation for a student? No, nope, not right now. What do I like to do? Um, let's see what's here, okay? Start a lesson. So this is my other account I'm going to add. And then let's start here, see what's here, okay? So let's see what's journey. Start. Play tutorials. Okay. on your journey to become a pianist. A few basic things to start with. It's important to sit tall and let your hands hang loosely from your shoulders. Set the height of your bench so that your elbows are slightly higher than your keyboard. In piano, each finger has a number between one, your thumbs, and five, your pinkies. You will see numbers coming occasionally next to oh, the notes. Had these are the finger numbers. That's the first song album. With the right hand with these three keys in the middle of your piano. Look for the group of two black keys just in the middle and place your right thumb on the first key. If you don't have a piano or keyboard yet, you can play with the touch keyboard. Have fun and good luck. Alright, so that's a good tutorial to start. You know, if people like, they don't even know where the C is, right? And the two black keys, and that's what I teach my students do. I teach the teachers how to teach students. Alright, now we're going to play... Ah, okay, so let's start. And I don't know what's going on here, okay? What's going on? Huh? Okay, play C when it reached the blue line. What? Oh, there you go. So do I play here or what? Oh! Wait. Oh, so we are actually learning to um, play the middle C um, on the iPad, okay? So it will stop and then you play it. So, I mean, it's good for people to learn the C notes, but how do we know which C it is, right, on the keyboard? So it doesn't tell you actually exactly where it is because they only have like what? from G to G, right? So it can be any G to G on the keyboard, right? So it can be any C. So the problem about 
with students, you know, when they try to find the middle G, a C, sorry, middle C, you know, it's not that accurate because I would tell them C4. C4 is simple, right? You count from one, two, three, four if it's a full size keyboard. So, um, or a piano. So, anyway, we learn the C. So, this is just to play. This is like really simple for like really baby. <laughs> you know, it's kind of boring. But I mean, I think it's a tutorial, so. Oh, so you can play before it comes, okay? So if you play when, right when this touches, it actually will stop for you if you don't play it, okay? Can we finish? Okay, oh, so now we're gonna play a song with all the C's. Oh, okay, I have to play when it touches the line with no rhythm to tell you, like, how I guess that's the metronome. But it doesn't make sense because there's a lot of distraction at the background, like the music, you know? There's no beat, for, like this coherent with that what you're doing. Alright, so that's the C. So let's see what else is here, right? Um, let's see. Uh, so these are locked because I'm using a free um, version. Okay, let's see this. What is this? Vivaldi. So we are going to find the two black keys in the middle of your piano keyboard. Okay. So I thought I'd actually uh, enable acoustic piano, but I don't seem to actually feel like it knows. So let's try one more time. Oh. Okay, we all, so I have to actually so the first time I didn't do it, okay? So uh, now I have to uh, let them assess the microphone so they can hear my phone, my piano. Oh great, so now actually my piano is uh, connected to the iPad, that's pretty cool. So let's see if it actually catches uh, my piano sound. MIDI stuff like this, it's like the beat is so weird. It's very distracting with this really strange MIDI background that you try to hit the note at the right spot. Oh, so I'm happy. Okay, so here you can take a So they actually record your um <laughs> So they actually record it when I was talking and also like they record your performance with the meeting. So they ask now to assess your camera so you can take a photo, okay, let's see. Oh, so they see my face, okay? So I'm gonna skip. Now so I'm not gonna share. But that's interesting. Now, uh, next. Oh my god, my technique is only 42%. <laughs> I don't even know how he knows my technique. He doesn't even see how I play, but... Alright, so great. So I finished chapter one. That's kind of fun, actually, because it's like playing games, okay? I don't see what they have. This is to learn to see, but I don't know what these are. I don't know what this is. Okay, so these are all C notes. Ah, okay, this one has two notes. And buy on musicnotes.com, maybe there's a score we can buy. Oh, that's that. So these are locked. Three notes. So three notes are locked, okay? You see, they also use C for D4 and 3 E4. And Hot Cross Bun and Mary Had the Land, which is really simple songs. And they put it in chapter 3. The cookie jar, blah blah. Okay, great. So this actually looks pretty fun. Um, now what is this? Chapter five. Pass the test with three stars. All right, let's see what that is. Tuning air guitar. So now we still have to find the C. Oh, so I have to play that. So I'm gonna. 
So we're gonna play these three notes, okay? learn to play um, with the score. That's pretty quick. I mean, I don't know if students can actually catch this, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go, I don't know what it is. Oh, so this is the restart again. And then I can go back. So that was a test, I think, uh, to go to the next uh, chapters. So I guess chapter one is just middle C, right? C4, and then Chapter two is C two uh, C four and D four, and then C four D F. And so practice step and then skip. Ah, so chapter five is for A B C. I guess it's here because that's how they are teaching in this. And let's see how many chapters there are. Um, basic correlation. So. Chapter 8 is both hands not together. Let's take a while for them to like have both hands but not together. And then both hands basic coordination. Still not together. Not together. So I wonder how long it does it take for them to put together. Oh, that's interesting because here they have like pop song now. Right, you see uh, Sugar, Maroon 5, that's interesting. Um, Yankee Doodle, chapter 14. And then these are Quarter Nooks Rest. That's quite a, quite a bit. So I don't know how to, let's see if there's a, a list. Um, okay, I wanna see if there's a list. Actually, there's no list while so telling you like, all the chapters, right? The content of all the chapters, I don't find it. So let's look at the library here. So I don't know what this is. Let's take a look at methods. Ah, so you can actually use these books, uh, the popular books, right? Let's see. That doesn't sound like a C key, so maybe it's a black key. I don't know what that is. Let's, let's, maybe that's not the song. Let's see what this is. Oh, I'm playing it wrong. I'm gonna find here. Oh, that's interesting. Actually, it will tell you like, oh, you're in the wrong spot, right? When I'm touching these notes, they actually know I'm touching here. That's amazing. Because <laughs> I don't know what they want me to do. Uh, so they're playing the black keys in this uh, song. Right, so I don't know if the student. I, I guess you know you can play a few times to figure it out, like what's going on with the songs. Um. So yes, that's great because I have more technique now. All of a sudden, I'm going to 90. <laughs> that's kind of fun. Um, so let's look at the menu again. I hope this is clear right now. I mean, it was kind of far for you guys to see. So I can buy this book if I want to use the book. So it's probably useful for uh, teachers if they're using this book and uh, they can have like students to you know maybe play on the keyboard or on the piano when they're waiting or in like a piano class right some people uh, some teachers might do like piano class or piano lab so they use the headphone and just listen to um, themselves playing without distracting other people so that might be useful but I'm not using this box so I'm not sure how useful this is for me and I can't see the other stuff in it um, so these are all like the piano uh, method books. So they have their own method books too. That's quite a bit.
cool. Maybe I should think about putting my book there. <laughs> um, so these are scales. So this, this is interesting. Um, let's see if you can see it better. No, that might be better. So here are some scales. All scales recently played, five finger position, arpeggios, chords, exercise, intervals, minor, rhythm. Alright, let's take a look at sight reading. So the rest. This is amazing, like how they can catch the sound from my like, acoustic piano. So what do I do? So I don't know how it helps with all this like crazy beat rhythm, like African drumming in the back. There's no beat, right? I don't know how fast it should be. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it's very hard to actually maintain a speed. So what you can, what you're doing is actually like trying to maybe just find a knock right in between the rest but provided that you know exactly where the middle C is on the keyboard right I mean it's helpful in some ways because, uh, because a lot of people have trouble like finding the knock but again it's not like okay so I didn't do very good because I kept talking <laughs> So that's so easy because I think I didn't do really well, right? So I'm gonna do easier. Uh, so actually, we can do it slower. That's great because that was so slow. I mean, it's so fast. No, actually, it's not even fast. It's just I don't even know what the tempo is. So you can do it slower. Uh, right hand, we're now only doing right hand. So we can change to left hand or whatever. What is the hold on? You the song wait until you play correctly. Oh, so this will... Um, I guess the song will wait until you play the right note, so let's try that. And note to name, yeah, well, why not, right? Okay, so let's see how that works. Oh, so you can hear the pulse, that's great, because there was no pulse. Let's see if I play some wrong notes, okay? Ah, so actually it shows you where it is if you play the wrong note. Okay, it doesn't say it. Oh, so it kind of show you the notes. Ah, so. Oh, so that's maybe helpful when you don't really know the notes, I guess. I mean, you just kind of see G and then you press G. So maybe it's not a good way to learn or practice. So actually this is pretty fun, I mean like, you know, learning with some interactive approach. Okay, so great. So that's cool because you can like really change, you know, the setting to use it for your own need. Alright, great. So maybe I will actually play, you know, let's see what key do they have. Oh, so we can change to all different keys, that's kind of cool. And then minor, all right. Any hand, both hands. So I wonder if it's both hands, um, how do they like do it, right? I mean, if I play one note wrong, left hand, I guess they will wait too. Let's see how it goes. So again, I hate this music in the background because it's very annoying. Let's say I play some wrong note. Oh, so it doesn't show you all oh, because I have to change setting for all song, each song. Right. So I, if I play one note right, it doesn't care that you know you play a wrong note in the right hand or left hand, just as long. Or maybe I can play two notes wrong. Let's try it. So I didn't get anything red, right? Or if I get both. So this might be useful because then uh, you know you can see if the student can read both 
both. Oh, I don't know why. Wait, so what's going on? Because I'm talking all of a sudden like there's some green star, green notes and stars coming out. Uh, maybe my my voice is uh, singing this. E notes. <laughs> it matches it when I talk. I don't know. It's very strange. So I would like, for example, change this, right? So um, that's a tempo, but I thought that, oh, I think uh, if you turn on the tempo, maybe uh, there'll be no background. Okay, let's try that. So let's see if we hold on. Let's try one more time, right? Ah, so when you use the metronome here, uh, that's no background music. That's great. So now we can wait. See, can we find it? Let's see if I play one note right and one note cor uh, incorrect. Oh, it doesn't care that I didn't play the no bottom note again. Or maybe because my voice, my, my, my talking voice is, the tone is E. Ah, so, oh, it doesn't care again. I don't know how. So this time actually works. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work, like you have to get both notes correct. Sometimes they don't care. Right, let's see if I get the right hand right first. Ah, so it does it does care. Okay, that's good. Okay, this might be useful. Uh, I'm gonna use it with student and I'll let you know how it goes. Maybe I'll show it to you guys. So that's it, um, you know, I mean, there's so many different things to explore, so, and it's just like, um, free right now, so you can, you know, check it out. Let's see, what is this? Oh, wait, sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to sort it Oh, so it goes somewhere else, alright, I don't want to go there. And uh, manage my student. Uh, so you can just create um, an account for your student. I don't know. I guess you, you do have to use uh, your student's email and then they want to send you some stuff like why do they need that, right? Because you, you can con control, you know, their accounts on the iPad already. So they just want your information, I guess. Um, so that is quite interesting. So maybe uh, I'll try with my student and see how it goes and I'll show you again. So until next time, this is uh, Therese Wong. Cheers.